Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff Koga here and I want to talk about the myth of time management and literally the lies that we tell ourselves and kind of uh, tell you a, a story from the heart on uh, what I'm doing. But I want to talk about this because it's really important to uh, distinguish something and I distinguished this at an early age when it comes to time management and let me let me show you something. So if you Google time management or how to manage your time uh, on the computer, you'll find stuff like this. Take the first 30 uh, minutes every day to plan your day. Don't start your day until you complete your time plan. Or, or headlines like work smarter, time management tips to hack uh, productivity, how to manage time with 10 tips that work. And the truth is, here's the bottom line truth, okay, is that you cannot manage time. And this is something that you have to eliminate from your vocabulary. The only thing that you can control is the activities that you do. All right, and to a point where where I am particular about certain stuff, and I do this at least on a quarterly basis. All right, and I came back from in the last um, I want to say the 60 days, and uh, I'm looking at numbers while I'm late in the office, and here's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna show something. So here's kind of my to-do list that I have. Right, so so let me let me flip some stuff around. Okay, and this is how. If you look at this, right, so I literally on my to-do list, this is from August 1st, right, um, I have notebooks for everything, and it goes on here, I have kind of stuffs I need to do, the big chunk stuff, and then I time myself, literally, look at this, okay, 30 minutes, a minute 20, okay, uh, hour, uh, hour 20, hour, 5 minutes, all right, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, right, and it was 5.35 hours of actual work I did, but look at this, okay, I came in the office at 8.30 uh, a.m. and I left at 6.54 p.m., all right? Discipline, put that. The next day, on a Wednesday, right, um, I came in at 11 a.m., I left at 3 p.m., a little bit later, same thing, and I kind of timed myself here, and then look at this. I only worked for hour and 15 minutes on this Wednesday. Why is because, and I'll explain a little bit why, okay? Um, you might be like, how is that possible, hour and 15, when you were here this long? How is this possible when you were here 8.30 to 6.54, almost 7 p.m., but you only actually, quote unquote, worked 5.35, okay? Here's another one, Thursday, right? Um, 8.30, right? 4.30 p.m., I only worked technically for two and a half hours, right? Um, here's another one, um, let me see here. Um, this is a Friday one, 8.30 came in, left at 4.30, 2.3 hours, right? Here's another one, four hours on this. I was here from on a Saturday, 8.30 to 11 p.m., okay? 8.30 to 11 p.m., and on my to-do list, four hours, all right? This should be staggering for you, okay? Here's another one, right? 10 a.m. to 10.30 p.m., three hours, right? Um, and it goes on and on, and I have this as I'm updating this at the back of my thing, okay? So literally, this is how it breaks down, right? So these days, right? Um, this is how long I quote unquote worked on my to-do list and this is how long I was in the office. I know this looks like chicken scratches, but I have that. Now, if you add this up, okay, let me, let me add this up, all right, and, and uh, bust out my calculator here. I'm a trusted calculator. And let's see if we can add this up. So let me, let me just show this to you, okay? Um, let me see here. 11 plus 5 plus 9 plus, uh, what is it? 8 plus 15 plus 12 plus 12 plus 8 plus 8 plus 11, that comes out to 99 hours in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right, 10. So that almost comes out to about 10 hours, quote unquote, I was at the office, right? It's the time I literally punched in and wrote it down and I left, okay? 10 hours. Now, now let's talk about um, what we did on the to-do list, right? 5.35 uh, plus 1.15 plus 2.5, 2.3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5.5, .5, uh, 8 plus 6 plus 5.5. .5. What is it? 44 hours. So literally less than half, okay? Less than half, okay? I worked on my to-do list. Okay, now now check this out. Okay, now if you see this towards the end of it, you can see here I went kind of eight for eight. I went six for eight, five and a half by eleven, right? So I got them a little better, and I haven't finished the rest of the stuff. So I'm going to take off in a little bit, but I want to show this to you. Okay. The biggest thing I want you to take away is this, is that this is for anyone out there, if you're running a business, I don't care, or even if you're working at a job, right, is that I say this a lot and uh, to people is that the time that you're actually at the office, most individuals are not, I repeat, are not working the full eight hours or nine hours. It's just the way it is, right? And in my case, um, because I'm running an organization, I'm running a company that many of the things that are on my to-do list, right, is actually what? working on the business stuff, like literally working on the business. Now, I have not created my business where I can pull myself out, is I'm not there yet, okay? So a lot of times these minutes where 
five hours and then 11 hours I'm here, okay? One and a half to five hours, right? These differences, I'm working literally um, like stuff in my business, okay, that I'm doing. As well as some of these includes like studying, like this one right here, probably um, the three hours and I believe eight, seven is, I have to guess, it's a Saturday I'm guessing, right? Oh no, this one, right? Five, eight, five is a Saturday, five hours I'm here um, and then 15 hours I'm literally like uh, um, at, at the office, right? Why is because I'm studying. So I'm at the office on a Saturday and I, once I got my to-do list stuff done, um, I'm literally studying right? Uh, learning something new, trying to build a new skill and uh, um, building something that I, I know I need to get better at, right? So um, again, when it comes to time management, you got to get in the discipline to at least do something like this. If you have never tried it, okay, try it, all right? Especially if you have a to-do list, right? Time yourself. Like you'll hear me like at the office where I literally put like a 10-minute timer and I hit start and uh, put a task, I'll stay on that. And regardless if I get interrupted I'm with a call, a text or whatever, I leave the timer on and I basically measure how long it took me uh, to complete that particular task. And I recommend to you, if you have a to-do list, do that. Now, if you do not have a to-do list, you should start with that first, okay? But it's, this is an assumption is if you have a to-do list, highly recommend for you to do that and then track it for a week. Have this discipline and you'll be able to see like amazing, amazing results. And it boils down to something I learned at an early age playing a sports, playing basketball, right? Is that I went to a basketball co uh, camp when I was young um, with... Um, uh, basketball camp and one of the coach uh, was on there it was John DeWooden I don't know if you guys know who he is but he was a big coach and when I was there they talked about measuring and tracking stuff I still remember this because I think I was like in fifth grade or something like that right we're out in like somewhere in South Bay or something like that's one of the high schools and uh, Bill Walton was there as well okay and he was talking as well and one of the things I remember basically said if you take a jump shot right keep track of how many you actually make versus how many you shoot Okay, and know both of those numbers and see if you get better every single time you do it. And it's so true because if you're just like shooting and just doing stuff, just doing it for the sake of doing it and you're not measuring and track, how are you ever going to know you're getting better at it? Right? So it kind of ties into this video as I was looking at my ads because I am running advertisement to uh, this particular Your Marriage with Money. I was really talking about it. And, uh, surprise, surprise. I'm kind of wearing the same gray shirt, which is funny. And I was talking about uh, marriage with money. And it's also the marriage that you have with money. And it's a direct reflection of it because if you are not tracking your time, I guarantee this, you don't respect the amount of hours per hour that you're supposed to make. All right, and not only that, but I'll kind of finish with this is that you want to know if someone is actually making real money or not listen to their language pattern I'll tie into this last video uh, that I made with your marriage with money um, is that people who don't really in the eyes of middle class or whatever would it depend on what you define a middle class is I don't believe that middle class exists is just an idea um, is that if someone talks about hours per hour how much they make versus someone who talks about how much month they make per month versus someone who talks about how much they make per quarter or someone who makes annually. Guess out of all those four pe people who talks about it in this way, how much money per hour they make, how much uh, money they make per month, how much money they make quarterly, and then how much money they make per year. Guess out of those four people who's probably making the most money. If you guessed the one who actually tracks it yearly, you're 100% correct. And the person who makes the least is typically the person who's tracking it per hour, right? And when you're running your own business and when you're building it, you gotta know where your time is being spent and you cannot manage time. And the only thing you can do is manage your activity. And the only way to do that is you gotta be brutally honest and then track it. Guarantee you, if you do that, you're gonna get a tremendous amount of value out of that. Hopefully, let me know how it goes and uh, come back to this video, hit me up and let me know how much uh, you actually think you were working and then what you find out, right? Cause you just saw it here. The amount of work that I'm putting in to actually build my business is literally 50%, right? In 100 hours, right, I only put 44 hours working on the business versus everything else outside. So um, that's what I got for you. I got to take off. Um, love you guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, let me know how it works out for you. Take care. Bye-bye.